Today's lesson is on multi-step word problems. So every single problem we have is going to have more than one step. Here's our first problem. A family of five spends $160 on tickets to the Utah Jazz game. When they get there, they find out they can upgrade their seats for $10 per ticket. How much does one ticket cost if they decide to upgrade? I didn't leave myself very much room here, so I'm going to shrink this and put it on a different slide. Here we go. So, just with any word problem, we want to see what is it that we need to figure out. So, what they want to know is how much does it cost for one ticket if they upgrade. This is a multi-step problem, so we're going to have to figure out some things first. So right there they wanted to know how much one ticket costs if they upgrade. So first of all, we need to figure out how much each ticket was before they upgrade. So if we have five people in our family, and it costs them $160, we need to figure out how much that would cost. So we would do $160 divided between the five people in their family. I put that in parentheses down there in our equation because that's what I need to figure out first. And we always do what's in the parentheses first. Once we figure out how much the tickets cost in the beginning, then we can add that 10 extra dollars to upgrade. So plus $10. And then we'll figure out what that equals. We're going to use the cost per ticket as a P for per ticket. So I'm going to do my first step, that part in parentheses. $160 divided by 5. So I do my first step. 5 can't go into 1, but it can go into 16 three times. Second step, multiply. 3 times 5 is 15. Third step, subtract. 16 subtract 15 is 1. Fourth step, bring down. We now have 10. Since I brought down, we start back at step number 1, divide. So I now have 10. So 10 divided by 5 is 2. 2 times 5 is 10. 10 subtract 10 is 0. There's nothing left to bring down. No remainder, so it cost $32 for each ticket. And that was before they upgraded. So they can upgrade their seats for $10 per ticket. So if we add our 32 down there, plus our 10, that's going to equal $42. So it would cost $42 per ticket for one ticket if they decided to upgrade. Okay, so there we go, $42 per ticket. Next problem. John needs $120 for new soccer cleats. He has $40 saved up already. If he makes $6 a week mowing lawns, how long will it take until he can buy new cleats? First of all, John should probably charge a little bit more, and this would speed up the process a little bit, or maybe go for some cheaper cleats. But if that's how much he's charging, and that's how much he needs to make, let's figure this out. So John needs $120. He has $40. So those are the things we have at first. He needs $120 and he already has $40. Next we know he makes $6 a week. So whatever amount he needs we're going to divide by 6 
and that's going to tell us the weeks. So I'm using a W for my variable. So, that went kind of fast. So 120 subtract 40 was 80. And then we need to divide that by our 6, the $6 a week that he'll make. So I wrote that over on the side. 80 divided by 6. So 8 divided by 6 is 1. 1 times 6 is 6. 8 subtract 6 is 2. Bring down our 0 and we start over. So 20 divided by 6 is 3. 3 times 6 is 18. 20 subtract 18 is 2. So we have 13 remainder 2. Earlier in the chapter, we learned how to interpret our remainders. So would it make sense that it will take him 13 remainder 2 weeks? No. Um, so we're going to go up to our next whole number. He's going to need to mow lawns for 14 weeks. Because if he only does it for 13, he's still going to need 2 more dollars. So we need to do it that extra week. So it will take John 14 weeks until he can buy his new cleats. Okay. Our last problem, these are a little bit longer, so we're going to do, this is going to be our last one. So Kayla has math, science, and writing notebooks. She decorates each with 12 stickers. If four stickers are on a sheet, how many sheets will she need? Okay, so first of all, she has a math a science, and a writing notebook. So how many notebooks is that? It's three. And then she decorates each with 12 stickers. So first of all, we're going to need to do three times 12 to figure out how many stickers she's going to need. Then we're going to divide that by four because there's four stickers on a sheet. So divided by 4. We're going to do our parentheses first. Oh, and we'll have that equal um, the amount of sheets that we need. So we're going to do our first step, 12 times 3, which if you know your 12s or your 3s, hopefully you have that one memorized as 36. So now we have 36 stickers. And we're going to divide that by 4 because there's four stickers on a sheet. So 36 divided by 4. This is another one that you ought to have memorized. So 36 divided by 4 is 9. And we can do our steps real quick. 9 times 4 is 36. 36 subtract 36 is nothing. And that's it. So 9. So 36 divided by 4 equals 9 um, sheets of stickers. And that is the end of today's lesson.